Now, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SEREP, has asked President Mohamed Buhari to, without delay, direct the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, and appropriate anti corruption agencies to investigate the cases of corruption in the water, health, and education sectors, as well as documented in the 2018 and 2019 Auditor General's report. Deputy Director Serap Kolawale Oluwadare said this while briefing newsmen in Lagos. Emmanuel Olubobokun tells us more. Recounting President Muhammad Bwari's inaugural speeches in 2015 and 2019, Serap notes with dismay that the president has made little to no progress in fulfilling the promises made to Nigerians, especially providing access to basic public goods and services, including quality education, health care, and regular and uninterrupted water supply. We have to ask ourselves this question. What is the public interest? Kolawale Uluwadari is deputy director of Serap. He says government's promise to fight corruption and end impunity imposes a moral and legal responsibility to protect the rule of law, ensure sustainable development and full respect for Nigerians' constitutionally and internationally guaranteed human rights. In the context of our work, it has to be transparency and accountability. And to understand that keenly, one must understand the context that transparency and accountability plays in good governance. It means that since the advent of this democracy in 1999, individual governments have canvassed for votes. They have made promises. And none of them, I dare say, has promised that when he's spending money, he or she is not going to let Nigerians know. So transparency and accountability forms a key part of good governance, which is related to freedom of expression. Speaking on the corruptions in the water, health and education sectors, Uluwa Dari says the allocation of funds by the government to various sectors is not only low, but do not get to the grassroots. It's the government less than 2%. Because it would mean that there is little or no political will to apply the laws that we have. The laws are not perfect. The policies are not. And really they are not intended to be so. But there must be a political will to apply these various regulations across board. For instance, in allocating funds to sectors, if the law has provided a bare minimum, as we've seen in the National Health Act, and the UBEC Act for these sectors because they are important. Why is government allocating the minimum? And what has government done to ensure that these funds get to where they need to get to? Lagos State Director of the National Orientation Agency, Dr. Waid Ishola, narrates some of the analyses carried out by the agency in relation to the corruption in the water, health and education sectors. One of the things that we found out is that majority of negotiations refuse to attend some of these primary health care centers because of the attitude of the, the, the nurses there. So all of these have been brought to the fore, to government. And we say water everywhere, water, there's no water to drink. We know that all of us are our own water corporations. Hardly will you go into a street that you not see people having bowls. We, we write to government. So all of these are things that we've done to government. But we do not go into the system to find out the wrath in the system. Serap vows that unless the president makes good on his promises and constitutional oath of office, it will consider exploring appropriate legal action to compel the federal government to act as recommended in the interest of the public. Manuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.